previously on Pilots One. Is it from your dream? I think it's a memory. I, I know you. Well, you probably recognize me from patrolling the neighborhood. We got a problem. I'm starting to remember. You've been a really good friend to me lately. And if you need someone to be that for you, I'm here. Do you think you've ever seen it before? No. If anyone could get a Ouija board to work, it's him. Seven eight one two two seven. What does it mean? Kyle, what's wrong? Police have identified the remains found last month as William Kirk. That's him. A professor of biochemistry at the University of Washington. Maybe Professor Kern was his teacher. And if Kyle witnessed his murder... You draw conclusions before there's any real evidence. Kyle drew that picture before he knew Kern was missing. You can't tell me that's a coincidence. Kyle, hypnosis relaxes you. It allows you to focus very deeply. Dr. Cassidy has helped some of my patients make sense of their dreams. And by tapping into your subconscious, hypnosis can unlock memories you've lost or suppressed. What are we waiting for? Kyle, you're walking down the steps of a long staircase. And with each step, you find yourself relaxing more and more, letting every muscle relax. The staircase winds around until you come upon a door. Now gently turn the knob and ease the door open. You see It's raining. Whose car is it? I don't know. Are you alone? A man. Prof Professor Kern. He's, he's looking in. He's hurting. Who oh God. Who hurt Professor Kern? Jacob. I want you to leave that place now. Tell me what happened before. Before? Before you were in the car in the rain. Tell me what you remember. Go deeper now, Kyle. You're at another door. Open it and look inside. In your past, there are images and sounds. Describe them to me. Kyle, what do you remember? What is that? Take him, take him out of this. Kyle, go back to the door and up the stairs. When I snap my fingers, you'll be safe in this room. Bring him out now. One, two, three. anyone like him. 
Beyond the images Kyle described from that one night, you couldn't retrieve even one memory. Well, he's locked. I told you his amnesia is severe. Nicole, I think you need to consider another diagnosis. Kyle shows clear signs of delusions and paranoia. No, he's not schizophrenic. I've been treating Kyle for months. He's sensitive to others. He communicates, participates. No. Well, what about his fixation on Professor Kern? Police have determined there's no connection. But I still believe there is one. We just haven't found it yet. And his fears about your security guard, Tom Foss, that's not paranoia. I think Tom Foss, as an authority figure, represents someone disturbing from Kyle's past. And that gibberish. You never heard that before. No. No, but it could be a product of post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, Kyle let out a string of nonsense syllables like a, a cathartic release. Well, that's as good a guess as any. In the trance, I approached a door to my past, but the door was locked. I longed for the key, for a moment of clear understanding. But with every detour and dead end, it grew harder to stay optimistic. Two years till we graduate, my dad's already on me about applying to college. He's got his checkbook out ready to buy me into the school of my choice. I think my parents started saving the second I left the womb. Kyle, what's up? So how'd it go today? I guess I shouldn't expect so much. <sighs> Told you. Those hypnotists are bogus. Josh, that door is there for a reason. It's open. So, did you make it cluck like a chicken? Get out. <laughs> One thing I will not miss when I go to college. You're going to college? Eventually. Declan here is already being recruited. A couple of scouts saw me play from Whitman and UW. UW? University of Washington? Assistant coach keeps calling, so I thought I'd drive over and check it out tomorrow. Take me with you. Dude, I thought you were done playing basketball. The University of Washington, that's where Professor Kern taught. The guy whose skeleton they found in the woods. If you want to come, Kyle, I'm fine with it. Kyle, you can't drive to UW with Declan. My parents won't let you. You haven't exactly established yourself as the most trustworthy person. It really hurts, but I have to go. If I knew Professor Kern and that's where he taught, someone there might know who I am. Kyle, if my mom hears that you want to go to UW... She wants me to figure things out. That doesn't include snooping around about some dead professor. I mean, you should have seen Kyle's reaction. The anxiety when he started talking about Tom Foss as if he was really reliving the experience. And what, even under hypnosis, there's still no clue why Kyle had those flashes about him? No, and they're so vivid. I mean, I know that Foss is just a replacement for someone, but still. I mean, it makes Kyle anxious to have him around. Well, you're not going to have to worry about that anymore. I called Palisade Security today. You got him fired? Well, not quite, but they agreed to take him off our detail. Well, I guess a transfer to Alaska was out of the question, <laughs> but still, it's a relief. Thank you. Mm. Oh, please, not near my food. <laughs> mm. Hey. Hey. Kyle, sorry it didn't work out this morning. Mm -hmm. It was worth a try. Well, I'm glad you're not discouraged. I think Kyle needs a break from all this stuff. Declan's checking out Whitman tomorrow, and I thought I'd go, and Kyle's welcome to come. I thought Declan was going to... Invite you himself? He meant to, so I'm asking you for him. Why are you being so nice to him? Yes, why are you? God, you make it sound like I'm this horrible person. Forget it, I don't have to take him. But I want to go. I'd like to see the school. Give him one day there, and he'll come back with a diploma. Well, 
What do you think? Bring me back a Whitman t-shirt. You wanted to go to UW, didn't you? Just don't like making up stories for them. Well, that's why I did it. You can thank me later. Hey, you ready to roll? For all you can find out if those dreams that you're having are real. Let's go. Mrs. Trigger, hi. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but I, I just uh, I just came by to make sure that, that everything's okay. Everything's fine. Well, I, I guess I mean... Well, I, I know that you folks requested to have my details switched, and I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't done anything to upset you. We just felt that it wasn't a good match here. I'm sorry to hear that. Because I have to say that uh, I admire you, Mrs. Traeger, I do. The way that you uh, you balance your career with your family and a, a foster child on top of that. I mean, it's, it's a lot to handle. I, I really respect that. So even though I'm not on your watch anymore, I just want you to know that you can call on me if you ever need anything. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Check it out. We're in college, Trigger. Why do I feel like I have high school written all over me? Where are you going? To the science building. Hey, hang on, where's the gym? Take that path, then left at the commons and straight on for an eighth of a mile. You already memorized the campus? It's like a walking navy system. So let's hook up in a couple of hours by the student union. Okay. If you can find it. Traeger, this is Kyle. Hello. We were told this is Professor Kern's office. It was? Well, 
We think Kyle might have known the professor. May have? I'm not sure if I did. But Kyle has amnesia. Seriously, and one of the few people he seems to remember is Professor Kurt. Uh-huh. I know this all sounds kind of out there, but we were hoping being here might help Kyle remember. Do you know me? I'm sorry. No. I'm Anna Manfredi. I'm... I was Professor Curran's research assistant. Can I ask, what exactly was he researching? Well, essentially, he was interested in maximizing brain power. Professor Kern developed theories and exercises covering areas of creative thinking, problem solving, memory, logical thought, and mental agility. I've done some reading. The thing is, Kyle is smart. Like, Einstein smart. He had an MRI and it showed a really high level of brain activity. So, we were thinking maybe Kyle worked with a professor, which could explain... I did all of William's... Professor Kern's testing, I would have known if Kyle were involved in his research. But I had to be. There has to be a connection. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'm sorry. Uh, test me now. I'll take all of his tests and you'll see. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh-oh, this can't be good. Well, actually, that was good news. That was Detective Breen. I asked him to run a background check on Foss, and he came up clean. I should never have told you. Listen, Nicole, I had him taken off our watch, and then he shows up at the door to question you about it. But he wasn't hostile. I mean, it was more like concern. He can keep his concern. I don't want him coming around. I admit he makes me uncomfortable, but remember, he's never actually done anything wrong. Well, Kyle's having nightmares about him, and he's got good instincts, so if... if Foss spooks him, then that's reason enough for me. Thanks. You're thrilled to do some work? I skipped intro to Frisbee. <laughs> it's too bad. I happen to teach that class. <laughs> I'm Wes, by the way. Lori. You go here? Just visiting. What do you think so far? Hey. Hey, Declan. This is Wes. So, how's it going? Well, I should get back to the game. Give it up. So, how to go with Kyle? Let's go find out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
He's extraordinary. Kyle's results are so far beyond the normal range. I, I showed him 100 images in 60 seconds. He was able to remember all 100 of them. I'm bad for a guy with no memory. Declan, you see how smart he is. Don't you think it's possible he worked with Professor Kern? Yeah, I suppose, but William would have shared these results. I, his best test case, even with repeated practice, could only identify 37 images. What is he looking at? There are pictures and awards of students and faculty. Kyle? What is it? It's you. Impossible. Check the date. 1985. How's Whitman? Kick out yet? Josh, just put mom or dad on it. You don't really think you can get in there, do you? Josh. Your grades are lame. You've got no after-school activities, and there's really nothing special about you. Josh! What's the matter with you? Hello. Hey, Dad. Listen, we're having such a cool time. Can we crash here and come home tomorrow? You want to spend the night? I, I don't think so. They have all these great activities for prospective freshmen. Activities involving beer kegs and bongs? God, Dad, I thought you'd be happy. I can't even apply for a year, and I'm already psyched about going to college. All right. Well, where are you going to sleep? They have accommodations for us. Come on, Kyle's here. It's guaranteed G-rated. We're all really into it. All right, just be careful and keep your cell phone on. I will. And thank you. All right. It had to be done. If we told them the truth, they'd flip out and make us come home. Kyle, there's no way we can leave here now. We just saw a picture of you in 1985. That wasn't me. Then it's your long-lost twin. I'm not my 40s. Look, Anna snagged us a room. My parents are cool. Do you want to find out who that man is or not? Seeing that picture, I felt I was getting close to the truth. And it scared me. Absolutely. What is that? Sorry, it's one of my patients. Was it Kyle? Whoa, that must be his alien voice. Sort of a mix between human and dolphin. Out. Come on, it's like he's talking at the wrong speed. Josh. Four seven two seven and one two two one eight W four seven two seven and one two two one eight W four seven two seven and one two two one eight W four seven two seven and one two two. How weird was that seeing that picture? I mean, think about it. You and that guy could be related. I haven't stopped thinking about it. And if Josh were here, he'd have some sort of time traveler theory with you jumping through portals in space, which you didn't. Did you? Sorry. It's like there's this whole other world going on. There really is life after high school. Yeah, I got coaches all across the country begging me to play for them. Yeah, but they don't have like your dad has. What's that? Me. I take it back. It is high school all over again. Hey, Laurie. Hey. 
I guess you don't recognize me without my frisbee. No, I, I do Wes, right? So how long is this trip of yours gonna last? Just till tomorrow. Well, then we should make the most of it. Oh, I, Kyle, do you want to look around? You go. I'll see you later. Are you sure? So do you want to see my room? Actually, um, I'm here with someone. Then why am I talking to you? Okay, that's the number Kyle pointed out on the Ouija board. But the rest... 4727N12218W. Seven, seven, two, two, Same pattern over and over again. Some sort of code. Well, I can't make any sense of it. Par for the course with Kyle. Play it back again. I want to take it down. 4727N12218W. 4727N12218W. 4727N122. Take in. Uh, new places are hard for me, too. The problem is I don't know if it is a new place. Or somewhere I've been before. Can't imagine. I'm sure when the time is right, everything will become clear to you. William would have been so excited to meet you. You miss him. Sorry about what happened. There is such brutality in this world. Still, you are an inspiration. You somehow achieved William's dream to possess a mind as fast as a computer. How does it make you feel? Different. But just think of all that you can accomplish. Doing math problems, solving equations and puzzles. That's not important. What is? Knowing who I am. So, what do you want to study? I haven't really thought about it. Well, it interests you. I don't know. Art? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah? Absolutely. I hate museums. I don't get art at all. I just said it to have something to say. <laughs> well, I bet that you have a lot to say, Laurie. You just haven't found the right person to listen. I know that sounded like a line. <laughs> totally. Well, I meant it, though. Is it true? Hard to sleep. Miss your tub. She's still out, huh? I thought she was with you. No. She was talking to that guy. If you like Lori, why don't you tell her? <laughs> she knows that I like her. Take your own advice. I haven't seen you pour your heart out to Amanda. You picked up on it. No worries. I don't think she and Charlie have. Must kill you to see them together. I want her to be happy. <laughs> I would be in there so fast. Charlie's your friend. Look, if you want someone, you gotta give it a shot. 
people are meant to be together, they stay together. his name. The guy in the photo. It's Adam Balin. Adam Balin. Does it ring a bell? No. Don't be discouraged. There's someone I want you to meet who might help. She's a secretary in my department. Oh, those eyes. Who could ever forget those eyes? He really looks like him? Very much so. What was he like? Adam Balin was brilliant. One of the finest graduate students we ever had. And believe me, I've been here forever, so I know. Lily, tell them who he worked with. Professor Kern. Uh, William Kern was like a mentor to him. They were involved in several projects together. But it's not just Adam's academic achievements I remember. It's the way he took the time to ask me about my life. He was that way with everyone. His curiosity, his sensitivity. That's what I miss. So, to see you here. Do you have an address or a phone number? There's so many things I'd like to ask him. Oh, sweetheart, didn't you know? You can't ask him anything. Adam Balin has been missing for 20 years. all his research. It must have been really exceptional. Still, I don't think anyone's been through these boxes in 20 years. Sounds about right. He was so involved in his work and just doesn't show up to school one day. Apparently, he disappeared without a trace. Anything I can find out about Adam Balin is here in these boxes. Take your time. Listen, those letters and numbers, I figured it out. They're coordinates. Latitude and longitude. What do you mean, like a location? Near Seattle. 47 degrees, 27 minutes north. 122 degrees, 18 minutes west. I looked up the spot online on View at Earth. But here's the thing. That location is blocked. Blocked? Why? Because it's a top secret government facility. Gosh. Like Area 51, where they hide all the aliens. Kyle even talked about it under hypnosis. How much more proof do you need? Josh, you shouldn't be listening. If Kyle's the patient, then why are you talking to Dad about him? Because I'm his foster father. And I'm his foster brother. If there's something going on with him, especially something this cool and bizarre, I think I got a right to know about it. Reading Adam Balin's thoughts, I felt a connection beyond our physical resemblance. I understood his research. It seemed that his mind worked like my own. We had to be related. We had to be. Okay. What's with the attitude? It's like working with a hostile mute. I'm just concentrating. <laughs> yeah, Declan, I'm sure you're really fascinated with all these equations and formulas. 
Want to tell me what's going on? Look, I know you're psyched pretending you're in college and all, but come on. You sleep with Frisbee Boy after one night? <sighs> okay, first off, it's none of your business who I sleep with, and second, it's still none of your business, but I did not have sex with Wes. Right. God, Declan, we stayed up late talking, then I fell asleep in his room. <sighs> this is such a double standard. If I gave you a hard time about another girl, you would tell me to piss off. I wouldn't say piss off. You know what I mean. We're friends, and friends don't guilt each other about who they hang out with. You're right. It's all good. So what did you two talk about? It was less that he talked and more that he listened. Sorry, I don't think there's anything here. Yes, there is. Adam Balin drew it 20 years ago. Hillary just called. She was surprised to hear you were going to Whitman. Apparently, Declan had plans to go to the University of Washington. Dad. What's going on? Okay, look, we came up here to help Kyle. I don't care what you were doing. You don't lie to us about where you are. I'm sorry, but we found out some things. Like this grad student who looks exactly like Kyle, except he's been missing since the 80s. What are you talking about? And the guy drew the symbol that Kyle kept drawing with this code next to it. Kyle figured out his latitude and longitude like an address. What are the coordinates? 4727 North, 12218 West. It's a spot in the woods right by here. How'd you know that? You know Kyle. He's got a map of the universe in his head. We're gonna go check it out. No, you're not gonna go check it out. You're gonna get back in that car and you're gonna drive home immediately. We can't leave now. You will leave now, Lori. Do you hear me? I mean it. Okay, calm down. We're going. Okay. Goodbye. Great. <laughs> They've been up there the whole time, clean detectives. Why'd you ask about this court? Apparently, Kyle figured out it's someplace in the woods near school. The spot that was blocked on you at Earth? Yeah, they were planning to go there, but I told them to go home. such a big mouth. Oh, man. I forgot I mentioned it to her. Sorry, Kyle. We have to go home. We can't. My dad was pissed. We'll come back another time. Fine. Bathroom break, and then we're leaving. Wait, where are you going? I have to get there. Dude, you don't have a car. I'll find someone to drive me. You can't do that. I can't turn back now. I'm too close. Okay, we'll convince Lori to go. No, I don't want her to come. It might be dangerous out there. Because that man Adam Balin's been missing? Yeah. We'll call her and tell her what we're doing, and then come back and pick her up. Stop yelling. I cannot believe you did this to me. Do you know how much trouble this gets me in? We're at the spot. I'll call you later. Don't hang up on me. Don't. <sighs> sure this is it? 
Yes. All we need is a tin man and a cowardly lion. Never mind. Stay here. There's no way. I'm going alone. Like hell. Declan, thanks for driving me, but I have to do this on my own. I'll be fine. Are you following? Shut up and listen to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead already. Like you killed Professor Kern? He's not the man you thought he was. Trust me. Trust you? Everything I did was to protect you. No. To keep you safe. Safe from what? You gotta trust me. You gotta stop asking questions. Forget about the past. Get on with your life. Because if you don't, if you don't, you're gonna put yourself and you're gonna put Nicole, you're gonna put Stephen and Lori and Josh, that whole family in danger. What are you talking about? They'll kill you, Kyle. They'll kill all of you. You remember what I told you. Go! And don't ever come back. Go! Man, what is he doing? You saw something. There was nothing there. I'm sorry I lied to you. I thought it was important for Kyle. I told you to come straight home. That was my fault, Mr. Traeger. Please don't be mad at Lori and Declan. They did it for me. Kyle, that student who resembles you. Lori said he's been missing for 20 years and that he drew the logo. There's no point in pursuing it now. I mean, what difference does it make to my life here and now? If that's the case, why is that spot blocked on viewed Earth? No reason it should be. Just a bunch of trees. No. 
I know you're in trouble, Kyle. I'm gonna tell Lori's parents. No, you can't do that. Then talk to me. That man, Tom Foss, the security guard, he was out there in the woods. He warned me to stop asking questions about my past. Why? He said something bad could happen to the Traegers. So we can't tell anyone or do anything. Just move on and forget all about it. Understand? Can I trust you? Yes. Let me goodbye. Not mad anymore? I'm over it. Thanks for taking me, Laura. Told you you'd thank me. Later, bro. Later. If you dare say later, Traeger. I wasn't gonna say anything. trying to restore my memory. But I didn't realize that sometimes memories are better left forgotten. I wanted to know who I was, but maybe some mysteries are better left unsolved. hours ago. Seven eight one two two seven. He's alive. 